This is a step-to-step -step seizure. They said it was a bolt in right where your uh, original springs were. A couple modifications, but uh, it shows you move that. Next thing you know, it shows you tear out all the suspension that was originally there. You're going to be putting on your lift sprick, your shock retainers, uh, photos of how you set your rear up place to place. As you can see, there's a pipe here. You got to make the set for to set the rear on with the frame as you set that rear in place before welding. Clean, getting all the stuff ready to get this inside in place now. So it's just being set where it belongs, and then we're going to have all this removed for the four link up in the body. Uh, we got a port of power spreading it apart so we can get that up so we can get all the linkages and set them in place so we see where we got to weld our rear up. Sure, when you measure, allow a space for the blade. Keep it spaced while it's being welded in place. Four and a half inches, measures up. One of the directions it say it was a bolt-in kit. No modifications required. I did nothing but modifications. Don't believe what you hear in the paper. I'm done cutting off the mounts for the uh, leaf springs for four length to be able to reach over to it and, and lock it to the angle of the drive shaft hooked up with the suspension. It's all in, all set up. We already uh, cut the purchases and made sure they set evenly in the pocket because you know you gotta, the, the moon don't fit proper. We already got our four and a half inch spacers set up for both sides, left and right. The rear end set in a nice pitch. The four length setting up in place nice. Nice little setup. Transmission jack comes in perfect because you're able to tilt the rear with the knob. I love these for playing with the rear end. All right, we're waiting for the tires now. We'll go ahead and make sure the tires fit between the wheel welds properly and space, center it all, and then uh, weld it in place.